I am with Alexandros Constantaras, and he runs Historia Film uh, Films together with uh, Liz Njaga. Um, Alexandros, tell us a little bit about what you produce. Uh, Historia Films is a fairly new uh, production uh, name here in Kenya. Although we have a big experience with my wife, uh, we have experience uh, before from a company called Z2 Films. Mm -hmm. But now this time we are doing individually, me and her. Uh, we did already a couple of movies, one here in Kenya called Me, My Wife and Her Guru mm -hmm. and one in Greece uh, called The Return of Lazarus. They are both uh, different movies, one is uh, a Kenyan comedy and the other is like a, a more artistic uh, road movie set in Greece with a Kenyan touch uh, that went to some uh, international film festivals. Uh -huh. um, so we're quite, quite of, uh, of a diverse and vibrant uh, in terms of content. Um, nowadays what we are doing, uh, except promoting these two movies, is producing similar other uh, movies here in Kenya, um, web series and uh, even TV series. Um, the latest production we have is called House of Lungula, or Lungula, they will say here in Kenya. That's a movie, right? It's a movie, and um, just to say Lungula in the slang, in Kenya means sex. So we're playing with that, it's basically called maybe House of Sex, or you can translate it like that. It's a sexy comedy that uh, makes a comment to the sexual habits of Kenyans. Um, we got inspired by many different stories we listen uh, in, on radio mm -hmm. about cheating husbands, wives, uh, you know, and all these uh, things that are happening in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we try to, 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 to present it through a comedic uh, view, let's okay. say. Um, we would like to have a good cast and a quite famous Kenyan actors to will be part of it. And we're now in the post-production. Um, we did even, uh, it's one of the few Kenyan films that has actually songs made for, for it. So it has uh, three, four songs uh, for the actual movie. One is called actually House of Lungula. Okay. So it's, it's, uh, we're promoting that. Web series. Web series uh, we're doing uh, in the forest. In the forest is a... Um, it's an alternative uh, talk show, mm -hmm. a bit crude, a bit rude, a bit funny. Mm -hmm. um, we target um, uh, actors mm -hmm. and actresses, Kenyans, and uh, they've been interviewed by another actor called Cheryl Langiri, who is um, acting a very uh, rude, very nosy, very you know, um, funny uh, journalist. Yeah asking them per very personal questions. It's unscripted. The actors don't know anything about the questions. And we get the reactions from that. They are like between seven to 10 minutes, uh, the episodes. We put them on every Monday. They're on YouTube or? They're on YouTube. We have a channel, Historia Films Kenya. Uh -huh. And uh, we put one every week and we have created like a following. It's like a month now running. We're in the eighth episode. Yeah, we're in the eighth episode. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's something we want to, to expand and explore and do more of this web series uh, because we know there's audience for, for that in Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, of course, we're doing something, let's say, we're targeting more mainstream things like TV, uh, but again with edgy stories. So we have a TV series that uh, we just finished the pilot, call it Laura, and um, it's again um, a game uh, between the battle, the constant battle of sexes between men and women and um, the story is about this playboy guy who works in an office in a magazine and treats women uh, like um, fast food and, uh, <laughs> and uh, he finds this girl who really fell in love for him and uh, wants to get really upset and uh, make some voodoo, juju, magic to him so it cast a spell, a spell on him to, to uh, revenge yeah. of the way he, he, he treated her. And the guy wakes up in the morning in the body of a sexy woman. Now, our character has to survive in this world that he actually was, uh, he built it, he helped build it, you know, he was embracing He's this masculine uh, world in his office and everything, but now in the body of a woman and he faces all the difficulties, but in the same time, with the help of his flatmate, manages to think as a woman and take advantage of that. But does that mean that it's kind of a, has a moralist twist to it, or is it more like a comedy making fun of the differences between sexes? 
it's it's it, um, we don't <clears throat> we are not trying to to preach. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like uh, giving you the story in a comedic way, and you make make you think about it uh, of who you actually are. It has a lot of comments in things because naturally, as a sexy woman, there's some guys after her. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is this thing. There is a woman who was in love with a guy, and now he's a, a now he's transformed to a woman. You know, it's it's still uh, like this confusion with sexual identities. Uh, but uh, as you said, uh, in a comedic way, not mm -hmm. like in a preaching. Uh, Way because mm -hmm. every, everybody can think and everybody can take their own decisions. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like Historia Films is, is really making different kind of formats but always with a with kind of a funny twist, right? And always a bit naughty in a way. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Okay, first of all, we like comedy. We like to laugh. We like to do that. But at the same time, uh, we, we want to push the envelope. Mm -hmm. Let's say we want to make something a bit edgy. We're not interested in something really mainstream that doesn't change. Uh, mm -hmm mentalities or mm -hmm. you know create a buzz about it mm -hmm. so we try to combine the two truth is that when you want to talk about serious matters uh, the satire and the comedy is always the best vehicle to do that if you want to, to say something about the politicians you do it through comedy mm -hmm. okay or something if you want to do something about sex uh, it's the same thing mm -hmm. it's easier to say it through comedy and because the uh, Kenyan society is still uh, is being built up mm -hmm. and it has variety of people you have to respect the individualities and don't come out you know completely yeah. uh, out there you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you have to find the balance I think comedy is, is, a, is a good it's a good vehicle to okay. do okay okay so what about if people want to watch uh, the stuff that you're producing you say that um, House of Longula is now in post-production when would you hope to release it uh, we hope uh, around July, August maximum to have a premiere. Mm -hmm. We're planning to do a premiere and have a run on the cinemas and then we hope to, to have it on TV. Um, the, we're trying to avoid the DVD uh, route because it's not as safe mm -hmm. uh, for piracy. Okay. And uh, we saw that with other movies recently, you know, not in the past, like Nairobi Half-Life. And now because the movie is creating a bit of buzz because of the name and the nature of the, of the, of the story where a bit uh, oh, yeah. people are very curious about it because it has a connotation of, of uh, exactly so yeah. we're a bit worried you know so we say we'll, we'll try to play it safe but the rest like um, the web series is uh, YouTube just online yeah. we just google in the forest um, uh, Kenya um, Gerald Langiri is a presenter in the forest with Gerald Langiri in YouTube Historia Films and you will find all the episodes around their one channel and they're free to watch at the moment uh, we're trying also to find ways how we can fund this how we can monetize this effort uh, so we can continue bringing content on that so we're keen on, 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 on advertising on it or finding partners in what we're doing this is a bit um, we will use the internet for something a little bit more edgy mm -hmm. something a bit uncensored let's say so we can be more flexible in, in saying things mm -hmm. easier uh, so it is a particular audience, uh, but then at the same time we respect the TV audience, that's why we're trying to do something with Laura that uh, deals with similar subject in a milder way uh, through comedy. This one we don't know yet in which TV station will be out, we have a couple of them wanting to, to, to screen it. Here again it's lots of potential for advertising, uh, for product placement and uh, we're exploring this, uh, these ways because that's the way of, 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 of surviving in this industry. Yeah. And did you say that you have a pilot finalized so people, broadcasters who are, who are interested could, could watch it? Or? Yes, it's actually ready now. It's this, we just finished it now and we're trying to do a teaser also to put online uh, a shorter version, like a minute long, so it can just create a buzz and mm -hmm. see what the interest is. But the, the DVD with the actual 20-minute uh, pilot is it's, it's ready. 